there are now at least four channels that are dead that are related to minecraft and now funny enough i think it's time for us to dig in probably not straight down because that's the rule not to dig straight down but to see what we can find you can name in the comments if there are more dead minecraft channels that i have to be aware of as quickly as possible otherwise i can just google that i know yeah yeah, yeah there's the the butter man the sky does minecraft as well all of a sudden youtube holds giants dead youtubers what what the fuck are we talking about and i'm not talking about technobly dead but i kind of talk about technobly dead I think Captain Sparkles is like the most respectable man playing Minecraft maps and making crazy ass music and music videos and all that shit. Uh, that includes now sanity content. He says he's gonna upload more whenever he feels like talking about something, but he's not gonna be playing that Minecraft. I mean, obviously, some kind of crazy-ass Minecraft update can happen, and then he might try it out. Who knows? But, like, Minecraft is just not exciting. I watched PewDiePie's Let's Play in recent. This is still fresh, guys. And, uh, you know, like, a person is trying to play Minecraft, forgets everything that Minecraft is about, and all of a sudden... It's boring again. Will he actually revive Minecraft again? That's the question. Uh, that's that's pretty weird if he does. But Minecraft is just not a game that you play. You have to find different variations of it, different challenges. Something. You have to watch more YouTube videos for this thing to actually make any sense. Uh, and the best of the best thing you can do is play maps, and, like, PewDiePie is still the most clueless man ever. Eating berries, bro. You know not to eat berries in Minecraft. But at the same, I mean, he can do whatever he wants. It's just, like, it looks, like, pure cringe to me. When, uh, he still thinks Iron is an achievement, and took him very long time to do, and that's two Minecraft days in one video still scratching i mean it's it's cringe i don't know what pewdiepie is doing to be honest but he just figured out oh i can play minecraft because i'm a gaming youtuber and every time i play minecraft i can recommend nordvpn which is a win 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 so yeah maybe i hate Everyone and everything, and PewDiePie is also a dead channel in terms of Minecraft. What? What happened here? But Captain Sparkles uh, is respectable, man, even though his name does translate into just pirates. Whatever sparkles in Minecraft, he's just gonna go there and loot that thing. Or maybe it means something else. Please tell me, guys. I mean... To me, Captain is a captain of a ship, and Sparkles means that he's looking looking for a treasure. So, pirates <laughs> looting Minecraft for a treasure, all these like juicy maps and all that, those creations that people make. He just has to play it, loot it, basically. So, I don't know, man. Even the most respectable man is average, to say the least. And some of the maps that he plays of, like, which doesn't belong. It's the most troll experience you can have. Like, you're not actually playing a, a map. You're just having a horrible conversation with the creator across Minecraft. Creator of the map, that is. Now, you might question, why do we care about Victoria in this case? And, uh, let me explain. She's also in a little bit of a drama, where uh, Nickelodeon is a in a little bit of drama. These uh, idiots are trying to cancel Dan, Sh Dan Schneider, bro. And I don't think it's gonna work. First of all, it's the stupidest thing. But 
let me just show you guys. We will have to take a little bit of a detour. There is a piece for Ariana where Ariana cringes at her past, but it's just like, whatever. The piece about Victoria, though, it's a little bit more spiced up in there. It's a tea channel. It's basically drama channel, but for celebrities, right? Spilling the tea, just trying not to necessarily rile up against celebrities, unlike with Sniper Wolf, we just like attack. It's a YouTuber, it's free for all, whatever we can get, we just attack bro. Talking about a Sniper Wolf, she's one out of four girls that has mm, a storyline. And this is going to be Victoria's storyline. Digging into Minecraft. Yes, the weirdest thing. But I will be able to explain how that makes sense. Why would Victoria dig into Minecraft as a storyline? I think uh, Camila's storyline is a little bit harder to explain even. Because she is going to the moon to find her personality. And now she's reinventing herself all of a sudden since her birthday at March. Going blonde even. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty rad. And the final team member is already blonde person that went fucking really dark. But I still care about that. Because she's a Disney princess and last time I checked a Disney princess, mm, it worked out. She was the leader of the pack. So, uh, that's the other one I like. We'll see how it goes. He fights a bunch of cans. A bunch of B-listed celebrities with a puzzle, a storyline of uh, can all B-listed celebrities combined defeat A-listed one? Mm -hmm. Is that possible with their influence? Is that even a challenge? We're talking about 8,000 points versus whatever they can squeeze, maybe 2,000 points? I don't know. Although amongst those B-listed celebrities, we have uh, this song. The other songs suck from Sophia, but like we have this song. Yeah, I didn't know that that was her singing was a shocker. Anyways, let's go back. So uh, Victoria also has a storyline and it's about Minecraft. Why? To distract people in the right direction because holy shit they have found the shallowest tea there is possibly to find and attacking a man that you know just just let him be there's no drama here people are trying to find spicy moments the spiciest one is the one that's the hardest to find because it's not even a part of the show it's just a bunch of sound bites that sounds eh, you know Suggestive for sure. What's that feeling? That is a quality foot. That is so not tight. Sometimes I do it to myself. I can't take it anymore. Is this gonna hurt? Probably. But again, it's just the teen spies. It's not children spies. It's not appropriate for children. But for teenagers, they need to know that sex exists, guys. Somehow, and they need to toy with that shit. And you will learn later, you have like four or five years until uh, you're gonna get hit by a fucking brick wall if you haven't learned about it. Like, this shit is already spinning in people's heads and classrooms. It's completely normal, yet somehow it's drama. You know, we have porn stars that start at 18, yet this is, this is the drama. Now we're talking about, you know, we had Miley Cyrus, and this is the drama? This is the tea he's spilling? Have ten years later? You're all fucking kidding me, man? That's the graveyard of things? Even Penguin talked about it. But at this point, I literally don't trust a single person on YouTube to comment on anything. Dan Schneider is a creep. Norm. Dan Schneider during this period was the king of children's television programs. His red red again, all these sitcoms, not necessarily for children. And again, children just don't understand all these cues, like whatever you show them. They're going to care about the good stuff. 
which feels so stupid when people go back 10 years ago to dig into the graveyard just to find the filthiest memories basically for themselves and bring that shit up and celebrities i i don't think ariana or victoria victoriana bro likes when that shit pops when that shit going trendy like no one likes that shit and people somehow trying to make drama out of it you know there's so many reasons to just hate the whole thing and hate all the people who uh, dibble dabble into this what rex's reaction means either he was incredibly uncomfortable with the affection or more likely he enjoyed tori's kiss a little, a little oh my god he got kissed that's crazy look at look at my eyes popping too much would you like a sausage Excellent. Here's a nice fat one. What kind of sausage is this? Oh, just sausage. <laughs> you know. You want to get slapped with a sausage? Sure. No. A lot of innuendo. Oh, yeah. No. They even had to invent a word innuendo. What the fuck is that, bro? It's just sexually awkward moments on purpose but like whatever i right? just you can make your your own mind what that means you don't have to worry about that shit like it's not gonna turn into actually disgusting moments and if you just want to turn your brain off and just think of something else if you can beat that that would be pretty impressive instead of just giving into the urge of like mm, sexual stuff what what can we find like uh, can we force people to talk about all the sexual stuff about victoria's like i really want it is that what's the desire behind all of this these are just children oh yeah sure surely just children again teenagers is is a little bit above like regular children it's not one of those cuties moments children forced to dance and dress provocatively like that was pretty cringe but this is like it's, it's it's playful nonsense which also includes the feats and all that crap but like oh my god it's so suggestive it's so cringe when i amplify the noise about it when i remove all the context and all that shit like it just blends into into the show but you start collecting that shit as if like it really matters. Anyway, so that's how digging into the graveyard looks like. Very similar to what we're going to be doing into uh, with Minecraft. YouTubers just get a taste of like their storyline because it's pretty interesting. Now, Ariana claims that she is now reprocessing everything that she had gone through at Nickelodeon and probably. Re yeah, I mean, you probably don't want to do it when drama channels rise to help you reprocess memories that's the again the most disgusting thing they're throwing at her and victoria and the innuendos were like yeah. no she said the word it's so disgusting bro that's disgusting innuendo bro no one should say that word it sounds so stupid now looking back on some of the clips i'm like that's Damn, like really? Yeah. yeah. And oh the, shit! And the craziest, like, what, yeah. my daughter, you know, so, sorry to, no, no, no. you know, I just I think, think about, about it. It's like, like, oh no, uh, my daughter, my daughter is gonna listen to one of my songs. Just give me the babies. I'ma leave it open like a door. Come inside it. Even though I'm with you, can you up all night? Fuck me to the daylight. Yeah, I mean, if you had a a daughter. You wouldn't even be able to show her uh, most of uh, your music videos. That's pretty sad, isn't it? No, it, it would be a great challenge of like, she's not going to know. She's not going to notice. She's not going to care. You know, just focus on the good stuff. That's the whole challenge. That's the whole fucking obstacle course. The craziest part of that is like how many people have to approve it. Like when you start working in so many adults, so many adults, so many adults, so, adults. So, so many adults, man. Yeah, and they can approve it, and that's the whole point. They're not children. They can relate to children very easily. They're just trying to pull children into adulthood 
as best as they can. You know, that's it. And then, then the you know, the way to understand this situation is uh, it's way more expensive to be a gatekeeper to protect children to put so much effort just to make sure that the child grows in a specific you know way and gets introduced into concepts at specific times it's like no you gotta chill you gotta loosen up a little bit it's just somewhat normal to give children concepts that adults have to deal with face to face you know it gets so much more traumatic the moment you hit these milestones. As a teenager, you're already dealing with, like, boyfriend, girlfriend stuff. You're already kissing around and making people jealous. Like, all of that shit already exists, right? And sexual context, context fucking starting to rise every now and then. And they're already attractive, too, in the show. Like, insane. You can't hide that, you have to embrace it somehow, you know, as, as much as you can. So, the outside world is already toxic, would already do similar things anyways, and people are trying to clean as much of the dirt as possible, and it looks just so pathetic, and so much effort is, putting in, is being put into just nothing, and potentially something that uh, it would make things worse. It's like one of those plastic surgeries or trying to remove marks from your fucking face, right? Whatever you feel like you don't like, you're trying to mask it, but like it just puts so much pressure and effort and can actually damage your body at this point, which like, what the fuck are you doing? I think uh, Dan Schneider was just a straightforward man and understands that people need to learn certain things. And teenage sitcom is gonna consist of those things. Deal with it. So that's it. That's all I have for this, because uh, we're not digging any deeper. Yeah, so the, the whole point is basically a trap. Some dramas are just absolutely are traps and will not allow you to tell yourself that Victorious is one of the best shows, if not the best, in Nickelodeon. You know, the saddest part is that Ariana probably looked the cutest, most attractive. It, it was one of her peaks, peak moments, and she had red hair. She made a sacrifice, bro. You can't just look back and be like, oh, it's all, it was also so gross. Ah, uh, thank God. I feel like a true uh, YouTube CEO when I pull this video. Now it feels like there's more YouTubers up here. That's so cool. If I were you, I would be subscribed and see how this thing evolves, because this is how we're going to do it. We're going to be looking at the most popular videos. Obviously, uh, the internet exploded, which, hmm, a farewell message. And a dad had to jump into the picture. Explain what the fuck just happens. The face reveal delayed, delayed until it never really happens. In a hospital bed with 10 mil million play button. And uh, still not enough face reveals, like, was technically not taking pictures of himself. Mm -hmm. That's pretty sad. Me is a conspiracy brain head. And uh, I will always look at people with... Whoever deal with uh, cancer inappropriately with suspicion of, like... How do you not know how to deal with cancer? Just make sure that he doesn't do exactly what he has been doing up, up to this point, which was pretty obvious. Hence the name Technoblade, cut by technology, this guy was. De defeated. Stabbed. 
and then uh, slowly bleds to death. You know, it's almost like one of these uh, comedic moments. Okay, whatever. I tried to make it wholesome, but Google doesn't let me. It's such a comedic, notorious move or just stab yourself in the armpit and I can't find... Hey, AI, can you help? All of a sudden, it's a big question for me. That's still not what I asked. Even AI doesn't know. Oh, it's sleight of hand, guys. No. I give up. Let's keep going. You don't have to do anything else. You've done. He went on his one knee and begged uh, technically not to reveal his face. Is that what was going on? You would do so much for the people. Why would you? Why would you do that, technically? Man, it's so weird, isn't it? Laptop. It's almost like uh, I was the gatekeeper of Technoblade's face and social interactions because, you know, Dream revealed his face in order to socialize. If Technoblade socialized, maybe he would still be alive, actually, and stop being such a tryhard uh, person. Mr. Beast calls him a tryhard in this video. Saying, oh my god, he's probably trying to blend in because uh, he's such a tryhard, this uh, Technoblade fellow. Even though they already saw the skin, it's weird, man. It's OP. What he was up to. But with this video, we get to know that Technoblade is a troll. So anyhow, guys, I've been being accused of auto-clicker a lot recently, so I figured I'd record myself clicking in real life to show you guys that I am completely legit and that you guys are all just mad because you're bad. And so anyhow, here we go. So he basically sort of cheeses the system and uh, shows that, uh, oh wow, look at all these clicks, even though he was clicking. Yep. I don't know what it was trying to do, this video, but it uh, went viral all of a sudden. Also, was it Minecraft related? Was he all already playing Minecraft and trying to prove some... Who knows? This is out of context. We just get to see the nature of Technoblade being a troll on the internet. The next big thing is obviously Potato War, which reveals another... Try hard personality traits. So he definitely has a competitive nature, especially when Mr. Beast is uh, putting money on the table. Uh, technically, it would consider himself one of the best skilled players and was able to defeat Dream, if I'm not wrong, in a competition of 100,000. I don't think it's up here. Funny enough. It is. It is down here, though, and uh, it's going to take a long digging to actually reach. Oh, uh, yeah, there's two of them in Eastern Europe. Just go north and a bit to the east of here. You can't miss them. All right, we'll just leave you there. Okay, I'll just find. If we find them, we'll come get you. Yeah, well, if I guys, don't, come you don't on. have blocks. Guys, guys, what please. Guys, please. Guys. He asked for a boat. Did the boat I give him help him escape? What? Why would you give him a boat? What? I was trying to be nice, guys. It works every time when you see it. With the Potato War, seemingly a competitive spirit can turn on at any moment. And all of a sudden, it's a whole damn war. That It's barely coherent, however. Yeah, I mean, it's put together very nicely, but like... You have to do all these weird tricks to actually uh, win against your opponents. There's all these cringe moments where he's explaining things, but like, ugh. I'm really scared of him. Did you see what he said when I told him the names? Names noted. That is serial killer talk. We ain't gonna be hearing from those two guys ever again. Well, yeah, he even he put, even put him. I wonder if, even if his troll is try hard to make people amused, but like, for what cost? Such a self sacrifice uh, behavior for potatoes. 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 But why, but why would... Would... It is what it is, like, let's see what it takes to get there, but he pretty much gets there in the end of the video. He was so confused that he didn't even realize that his potato leaderboard spot had already been taken, so... <laughs>
This is the weirdest laugh you can ever hear across the... I can even recreate it. <laughs> it's like choking. Like, I don't know, man. This is the scariest laugh. This is more cancer in one laugh than we ever heard within the story. <laughs> Pretty bad. pretty bad. Yeah, pretty bad laugh. You mean you slide. Slide. I'm still jealous because my microphone just kind of kills my laugh. You know, the software that tries to kill noise kills my laugh. That's illegal, bro. What the hell? I can still do this. I mean, that's not laugh. Here you go. On the potato leaderboards, and we lived happily ever after. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, what's the big deal? Like, why make second episode, right? Because this just got out of control really fast. And I paid my goons to start gathering the resources we needed, whether that was by purchasing directly from NPCs or scouring the auction house 24-7. In the meantime, I headed to the Spider's Den, where I fought Tier 4 Tarantula bosses until I reached Spider Slayer 5, unlocking the Tarantula minion, which gave several new minion crafts. Progress was steady, but we soon encountered an obstacle. Yeah, complexity is already an obstacle to watch this video. <laughs> he updated it! <laughs> <laughs> I had done it. I I didn't feel anything at all. I, I had no idea what to do with myself. I'm just, just indirect. Direct. All of it just to have a 24th slot minion to farm potatoes. It's such a... The tryhard is activated. It's like, well, this is not enough. I didn't got paid enough to do this. So here's a series part two somehow. Right. Immediately. I'd been stalking Squid Kid's Twitter, so I knew he was a college student, and it was late November. Exam season! Squid Kid would be at his weakest. We had to get as many Again, the try-hard troll uh, combines with just a meaningless task. Like, I in hopes that the opponent actually appears to be uh, somewhat competitive. One wants information to destroy my enemies. Hey, Squid. No- <laughs> Once Technoblade able to come up with concepts in the end vr experience yeah 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 mayor of skyblock and that mr beast one is actually the last thing we have seen pretty much he won against dream and somehow uh faded in obscurity slow down made a finale like all the Bigger videos are not far off, almost like, um, he had nothing going on anymore. You're right now, Techno, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm, I'm starting to feel as though this isn't stupidly funny and instead a troll. <laughs> um, isn't that the definition of a troll? Stupidly funny? If you're... But you have to sacrifice someone to make the joke. This video was cringe, but on Skeppy side, and you know there's a bunch of fucking weird Minecrafters doing weird things. Skeppy was basically cheating in this. Uh, <laughs> using auto-aiming arrows, using just hacks for battling with the sword. Skeppy exposed video, exposed <laughs> vape client, ex <laughs> one million views. Quiet. What is this? Okay, okay, fine. You want to see? Exposed, Look, dude. Just because you're not good doesn't mean you. Oh my god, you're gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can't really kill each other in Minecraft unless uh, someone has a really precise fake client in there. Uh. To my knowledge, correct me if I'm wrong, guys. With swords? Some leveled myself and others purchased for tens of millions of coins and then distributed them to goons in diverse time zones. I set my island so only guild members could visit and had my head goon code a Discord bot that automatically pinged them within five seconds of the rabbit account leaving my island. It would Even more effort just to troll one man 
And I actually like the Wario. How dare I do that? Got to 500 million potatoes first. Would win the potato war. Hypixel even pick. Never before seen. Can he keep up? Absolutely not. People say Techno Blade never dies, but I'm putting him in the grave. Meanwhile, I'm. Um, it's almost like a fulfilled prophecy. Again, by trying hard, you're putting yourself in a lot of actual danger because you must not forget that three life exists and is also putting pressure on you. And he lives still in a family surrounded by family people. Like, he still has to keep anonymous identity. Like, there's so many reasons to reveal yourself. Escape Minecraft reality entirely and just start a new life because you can do that. The opportunity is there, but... Technoblade failed miserably to do that, and then you would say, well, it was cancer, it was unavoidable, there's nothing you can do. Uh, excuse me? You know more about cancer than anyone else around? To me, everything that is an illness is healable by just changing your habits. And this one, unfortunately, is a little bit too obvious what actually has went down. Putting yourself in danger, not caring about how you feel. Just focusing on your goals can be detrimental if your goals are not that deep. And also, Technoblade still has never really learned how to make content in the first place. He sort of did that, but like, to make content you have to upload at least once a month. So, never. never. It is kind of weird. And it's, and it's very scary. If you put too many filler episodes of doing something, people might not actually tune into your channel. You could ruin your reputation that way. You have to consecutively make good videos, which is the hardest thing on YouTube that's going on right now. I have not cracked the code, guys. So obviously just posting more videos isn't necessarily a good strategy, but it would still get views. It would still build a personality, it would still build awareness, and maybe uh, re reduce the try-hardedness of just focusing on specific things. Also, he was a big part of Dream SMP, but I wasn't following that storyline at all. I think it's too complicated. It's like hours and hours of footage that's, again, not uploaded or condensed in any way, so... I just don't know what the hell was that. I had to interrupt my potato farming because my dad was like, hey, can you go to the store and pick up my medicine? And I was like, can I really tell him that I'm not getting his medicine because I need to farm potatoes? Can I really? Do Look, I'm an atheist, but... but... It's a weird factoid that his dad needs medication for something. All of a sudden, that's a can of worms, bro. I did not expect. When... But at the same time, kind of did. I hope it's not mental illness. Hell, how like just insane he was. He had no breaks. I swear to God, this Technoblade dude is uh, focused on another level. Towards the very end, yeah, squid. Squid. yeah deadly level. Right I don't understand this quote at all, man. Yeah. It's the strategy out of which victory is evolved. For my part, I've realized now that rank number one isn't an achievement. It's a prison, which forces you to dedicate your life to defending a temporary title. But now... It's kind of a sad conclusion, right? This is why you don't focus in life too much, because it's just such a painful experience in general. You're unlocking so many potential things to do, but getting stuck with Minecraft... And this is where we at. We just dig two layers. I don't have to dig much deeper than that. For now. For now. The the questions are still there of like, uh, what's up with the dad's character? What is he going to do with the channel? Because he's still like, doing something. Years of Technoblade. I mean, uh, we got more reveals, I guess. It's okay to be sad. And it's okay to cry. I cry all the time, man. Yeah. This is uh, not the personality that I want to hear about. Crying is narcissism, guys. Earth Extrovert is Technoblade. 
pushing himself to the limits, trying to achieve things, not necessarily hanging out with friends, which is funny, right? Like, how is this an extrovert trait? The extrovert trait is to sacrifice your thinking abilities, your logic, your grounding for the sake of meaningless achievements. That's uh, extrovert. And it's a little bit shady for the dads to show narcissism. But this is just me. Uh, I know all those four personality types of the dynamic between them. And it creeps me every single time. So while one man uh, shows extrovert traits of going into war, even. Another man is running away. Even from himself to the point where... Face reveal is uh, a part of his identity of like, I have been able to escape everyone's grasp of trying to reveal my face. And here I am doing it in the most cringe way ever. The most popular videos reveal that once Dream got a successful formula going on, he just grinds that shit and uh, became the most successful Minecraft person on the platform. Or is it just a mess because eventually it's also going to come off. He's also going to get bored doing the same thing over and over again, being hunted while he's speedrunning Minecraft. He found a winning formula, but he couldn't do it ever again. He never really tried. He never tried to pick up something and do a second video about it. I mean, this is as close as we can get the random item challenge. Death Swap 2. This is as close as we get, man. He was messing with Minecraft for a very long time and still haven't found a concept that sticks besides this one thing. And we don't know, he, he haven't actually updated anyone of like, what's up, What what is he up to? Right? He just killed the damn channel. Which is not very ideal. But I guess... But you, you couldn't even flex up. Like, I have money and bitches, and I can leave and retire now. Just do that. We will all understand. Instead, what Dream uh, happens to do is jump into drama, and jump into Twitter, pretend that all of this matters, try to clear things up in the end, and move on god knows where i mean i don't think anyone is satisfied with the way things are going on this channel either it's just there's there's no minecrafter that i know of that's successfully active and uh, this was very very cringe like to put so much pressure and not prepare yourself it's like showing up to court of like oh i can i can do it and then you have nothing to say to defend yourself this is one of those moments it's like one minute of cringe and then you he reveals his face and it's like okay here's why i revealed my face what I look like. hello hi i don't know i don't i don't know how to do this i feel like i feel like i was waiting i was waiting to figure out how to do it and i was like I'll just wait. wait you can't just wait but that's the whole strategy isn't it just keep running away from responsibilities He's so good at it, but he's so bad at taking responsibilities now that it's just pure cringe. Again, he had good reasons of why he re he's revealing his face. He could have turned it into an emotional moment, but didn't found within himself that sort of strategy of explaining why am I revealing my face and then it happens. And it, you don't have to like linger with the face. You don't have to show your face as if like, oh, I'm... I'm this YouTuber now. I have changed so quickly, guys. Everything about this is cringe and is poorly, you know, put together. I know it's only him that has to decide how to do it, when to do it, and all that shit. But at least it's important to learn from someone like that and their mistakes. And maybe it's important for him to learn that, because uh, if Technoblade died... And he's the introvert of Technoblade, of the same personality. Even relatable to me, because I'm an Earth introvert. 
Except, uh, oh well, I do run away from responsibilities, to be honest. I do. I, I'm stuck in a fucking room. 50-50, right? It's, it's somewhat my choice. Because it's it's just a cool thing to do. But, you know, there's vultures circling around. There's assholes existing, not being challenged. And it just sort of hurts me. But, like, I don't know what to do. I can't do things by myself. It's kind of pointless. What I can do is just live a different world. I call Dream Cream because the dream has been taken. No, it just seems so disrespectful to have the name Dream. Like, it's disrespectful to the internet as a whole. But, uh, whatever. What are you doing here? Like, alright, well, what do I do? Do I just, like, rip the band-aid off and turn around? Okay, obviously I can't just turn around. Ah, uh, I don't know what to do. What do I do? do. How do I make it more meaningful? Have he ever even put down a script together? No? I know I don't, but I don't really need a script. And even if I do, I can just remake the video over and over again until uh, it's satisfying to me. To tease face reel for so long and make such an unprofessional one is uh fascinating to say the least oh, look it's dream i don't know what to do pat just took my chair guys pat just took my chair guys that's it no face reveal wow what a cool excuse guys now i do i'm gonna sleep in here look it's a soundproof room man i wish i had one of those that's a pretty cool room to be stuck in soundproof meaning that no sound comes in from the outside. That's the most important thing. So annoying when that happens. Open here. Look, it's a soundproof room. Perfect. The lawnmowers are going off, and I'm just. Yeah, stop making me jealous, Dream. That's the best part of the video, it seems. Guys, a hundred million likes, and I take off the blanket. Okay, until then, you don't get it. I, you don't get it. Fifty million subs, and we remove the blanket. This is it. Come on, subscribe. He's just so weird, right? All insecurity in one video, and it doesn't stop there because he drops it and like, okay, so I want to meet my friends, guys. Um, I can't, I couldn't do this up to this point, but now that I dropped my mask, guys, I'm so happy to just go hang out with my friends. Not it would be so much cooler, right, if he puts the face reveal in the very end, and he slowly explains of like. I want to meet this person and that person and hang out with this person and we're planning to do this. I get to meet a bunch of YouTubers, Mr. Beast. Go to Antarctica with Mr. Beast, that would be cool. And yet he doesn't tease with that shit. Like the face reveal very, very ends. How do you feel this hard? Forever in debt. So yeah, too much shit got revealed that was not necessary. He could have just stayed cool and moved on of whatever he was planning to do. Of like, this is a pivot point. That would have been a beautiful moment, but he fucked it up. Drops are random. This one is scary because a lot of shit drops from one block. I don't like it. And this one is uh, him searching for a block to stand on. That's a unique block. And if you don't find it, you lose. You know, that's a, another introvert trait of, like, pretending that everyone is out there to get you, and he actually manifested exactly that. A bunch of hunters are trying to take him down. Oh my god! Oh. With a little bit of editing, you can uh, post what kind of blog has to be stood on to progress. This could be, you know, a a blog hunt instead of just a shuffle. So you're always on the move to find your block to stand on. Any of these concepts can be improved and be done. It obviously has to be fun to begin with. But to just mysteriously run away from Minecraft while running away from Hunters from Minecraft 2, putting on the mask and still not doing anything. That's the shadiest thing. Even the Hunters series didn't have to end. You can upgrade the Hunters. 
give them starting items or something. You can change what you're trying to accomplish. Just killing the Ender Dragon could be swapped with something else. The possibilities are endless. The dream has been achieved, however, it seems. The most subscribed Minecraft channel and another dream has been achieved of putting that Minecraft channel into the graveyard. It seems like everything is too convenient for Hytale to take place. Except Hytale is so... He has its own drama, that game, so... <sighs> and hopefully it's unfolding this year. I feel like it is. Some kind of important updates? Mm, huge? A quote, high performance block game engine, and that is no, no... Guys, the progress is on track, I swear. It's really good to hear that they're on track to get this thing visible relatively. Yeah, it's relatively in five more years. As well as spending the first half of... You can just give a landscape for people to play in and just not worry about it, whether it works or not. To not follow Notch's footsteps, I mean, so sad. Because that would work, like you slowly get the updates, you're slowly waiting for one thing at a time to get released. Everyone is testing every single feature that gets released. Instead, we get this like, oh, triple A release of... Uh, Shove this into your mouth. It's not very satisfying, I'll tell you that much. I'll give you guys honorable mentions and uh, shift focus one more time. To give Victoria a few point a few more points. Just leave her uh, ten minutes of fame. Make that, that statement, statement from John. John. It's just so cringe of like, oh my god, we're gonna get a blog post, we oh, might get oh, more oh. gameplay. This is basically fucking torture, for sure. Like, why such high standards? And servers and creative tools, the team have clarified that there are plans to update Orbis and adventure, adventure modes. modes. Nobody, nobody actually cares because they never actually experienced anything about this. They just seen this thing on a screen and it's like, well, it looks cooler than Minecraft, I guess. It's I don't know what to, else to feel. I don't know what else to do with my face reveal, guys. Graveyard number five. Guy does Minecraft, bro. Holy shit. Wait, you know what? From gamer to cancer to criminal. Holy shit. Well, he did like playing cops and robbers. So criminal just makes sense. There's obviously a music video up here. Will we figure out his personality? Because uh, I did not grow up with Sky does ev everything, Minecraft. That's how we know it, him, right? And now Sky does shorts. What kind of shorts? We'll never know because I disable shorts. So I don't have to deal with that shit. It is also very notable to understand that my Creeper's Forge is yet to be defeated amongst the storylines that we're uh, focusing on. This Minecraft graveyard storyline, I have put my Creeper's Forge in the graveyard and still haven't defeated it. It's not up to me to defeat it. It's about people clicking my videos and choosing which video they care about the most. We haven't actually reached 11,000 views and it's a pretty interesting milestone of who's gonna do it. It's very intriguing. What's gonna break this many views and become the uh, first or second or whatever. Just, it's a pretty interesting milestone that will take a long time, a lot more effort to break. And my videos are kind of like low efforts. So whatever actually breaks it, it's gonna be a consonance, uh, not like the others, it seems. So yeah, now you know, the way you dig into the graveyard is, how do you want to remember these people? And especially if they're killing their channels left and right, if they're not eternally excited about Minecraft. Maybe they approached it in the wrong way. I mean, I'm constantly excited about Hearthstone, but... Uh, Hearthstone gets updates, unfortunately. Minecraft also gets updates, but I just, like, I don't know what to do with this. This is not gameplay updates. 
It's more just like a cool little toy to play in Minecraft. But toys are just for babies. You want adventures, you want to actually experience interesting stuff. And again, the closest person to enjoy Minecraft the most amount of time is Captain Sparkles. Paradise, chill, cold plane, okay. And then cops and robbers immediately. Hey guys, it's ah, ah, ah. Well, someone has mental problems. No, no are, are you? It's a very weird concept where you're trying to escape prison, but it somewhat depends on role play. You know, you're role playing, and at some point, you get an ability to wander off from the team, unlock a passageway, and they just escape. And it just felt like there's nothing to it. I don't know why I should watch this. Yeah, back in the day, it was just pure exploration of like, oh, I can make animations. I can make maps. But nothing quite worked. At least in this case. You know, it's almost like playing with broken toys. Log dot zip. And Beijing. Beijing. That's another person we could visit. He actually has an active YouTube channel. I see this man upload, uh, and it's not bad videos. You might even get evaluation. This might be one alive man doing Minecraft content. Wait, two, two months, no uploads? You better not uh, screw this up. But this guy is like so obsessed with modding Minecraft. Everything is a mod that's also trying to be a storytelling adventure. Thanks. In a way, the best thing to dig for treasure is to dig through dirt, dig through innocence. The idea that Minecraft simply has to be entertaining and nothing else. And, uh,. The, the bad things are going to come to us naturally. We don't have to turn on the conspiracy brain to find anything. We just have to spend as much time as enjoyably as possible watching these videos. It's linked in the description of this video. This man knows. It almost feels like Minecraft is a drug that you have to refine into whatever form of powder you like. Because it just never ends uh, beautifully for m most of the creators. It just always ends with the fucking uh, inability to mix real life with Minecraft. It ends with a failure. It ends with the abil inability to transition from being a Minecraft YouTuber to something else. What do you do any of this? That's the biggest mystery of this graveyard. One of the biggest failures is to not have a specific series, a specific continuity of things. So I watch one video and I want to watch the second video to see how things progress. Once I get to watch one video, I'm familiar with the concept. Just because it's Minecraft doesn't mean I'm familiar with what you're up to in Minecraft what your goal necessarily is it's so hard to watch most of the content because of that and uh, obviously dream is the most successful because he's also almost creating simpsons episodes of getting hunted down every single time that was the idea i, I guess because every episode is technically separate from each other but at the same time the concept is the same and can become familiar also, the most watched videos tell something a little bit about the audience. I think mostly about the creator, though. But, like, the idea that people would click on the TNT update, you know. Or the meme in the first place. Uh, what a clickbait. Minecraft Dream Dimension. And perhaps I need continuity too. I need to make sure that um, we're almost like ranking these uh, YouTubers. We're doing something. 
to compare them with each other because everyone has their own level of success even up to this day it's almost like the last man standing or the last minecrafter standing wins there is something we can do with this graveyard by digging out resources from all these minecraft channels but uh i'll think about it we don't have to jump to conclusions anyways but yeah, that would be the strategy of, like, answering a simple question. How can you last the longest? You can only last the longest by playing Minecraft if you know what the life cycle is about, right? Of what you have to do in specific periods, how you have to transition your content... One of the biggest transitions ever made that I'm aware of is Antoinum transition from uh, gameplay content into narration. What is the most popular thing, though? Music videos. Some gameplay, survival games, and all that shit. And, uh, yeah. This is now commentary thing. Showcasing weird things about Minecraft mixed with the gameplay. You kind of... It's a tough one. It's tough to find concept that would be just as powerful as the previous personality or way of handling Minecraft. So, uh, transition successful, I guess. But I would say not quite. If you cannot upload enough videos or, again, have continuity between them, so we anticipate the next video. Slowly, Antoine, I'm just basically faded out into obscurity because we just don't know when he uploads anymore. Like, literally, the view drop is tremendous. We have uh, 1 million views on average. Two most recent things now are barely hitting 100,000. Mm hmm. In Minecraft, you can build your own mansion. Hmm. By the way, this is a playlist of uh, secret music that Victoria has not released, pretty much. I don't know, maybe Victoria is going to play a role much more significant, but for now, it's just a role to, role to chill. Maybe I'll find a movie to watch. Or more drama is going to pour out, I don't know. And that's the second generation of Powerpuffs, Discover Girl. Where we have to discover even more things about life. But I'm not done yet. I want to try one more concept real quick. So if people played Minecraft, there's a lot of Minecraft items, basically. And I want to see who's going to take the most Minecraft items for themselves. Who's going to be remembered as certain Minecraft items. For example, like, Antoine would be remembered with an apple. Guy does Minecraft would be a gold bar, right? Maybe Captain Sparkles deserves a diamond or TNT hmm? if I craft one. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know with this one, one stuff. Oh, my Windows is updating too. That's pretty nice. Healed maybe buckets, some kind of speedrun items would be associated. Even bread because like it's the most convenient food source. Wow, Minecraft was never this fucking hard to launch. Fucking license, bro? What the fuck is this shit? Can I get an apple, maybe? Hmm, sapling reminds me of sapling, bro. So yeah, the storyline is not to let anyone destroy your memories. That would be nice. Ooh, killing chickens. 
I mean, uh, the greatest chicken of all time is Mr. Green. As you're growing, like, you want to do things less and less, and, like, installing Minecraft, apparently it's harder and harder, too. Like, jeez. I have to sign into my account? That's so evil. Now it just looks ugly, bro. Oh, well. You wanna handle this, bro? Get out of here. So dark. Well, I still have charcoal, if anything. For my graveyard. I can give Antoine beef. There's gonna be different rarities. I'm thinking through lines across, but it can also fit. Nah, nah. Basically, a cross line. Wait, did I explain it? Anyway, so rarity of items is going to be from bottom to top. So it will go to the top. If it's very rare items, it's going to stack more chest on top. Who wants copper? Because copper sucks. Put sapling and sethling. And still another skeleton to fight. Ooh. Is that appropriate for children to watch? Vote for who's gonna win, left or right, bro? Ah, oh, they're in a deadlock. I just need food. Oh shit, come at me, bro. Oh, you don't wanna come? Eat it. Obviously, Bone has to go to PewDiePie, bro. For obvious reasons. Where's my chicken? Here you go. I can bury adventure crafts of where I created my creeper's forge. Sorry, Dream, I need that chicken right now. God damn it. I'm to set a flag so I know where I am at all times. He does updates of minecraft so i think i saw most copper stuff from captain sparkles yeah nobody gets the egg for now maybe if mr beast was one of these corpses although he did kill his gaming channel ah uh, funny enough we have to grab mr beast corpse as well let's go mr beast Gaming. Wow. Dead. I'll give him egg even though it's on his main channel. Also, egg is random. Randomly can spawn a chicken. Mr. Beast loves random. There is Yogcast. And they have memes. Even though they dig a hole with pickaxe, I imagine, but... Digging is done with shovel, so that's what you get. The worst landscape ever. Um, interesting staircase. So, now there's different skin wolves. Well, we found a Technoblaze. Resemblance or something. And we collected that. More than we have to. Because I need food, guys. Couldn't even find coal yet. Makes my sword feel so much more tedious without coal. And the award of best pork chop goes to uh, this blade guy. That likes techno music. Well, I guess we're going to be burning a lot of trees. Okay, that's nice. What an annoying landscape, like, everything just keeps going down, it's the most annoying thing you, you can do. If I could just travel properly, like a human being who doesn't have to jump around all the time. Man, Minecraft is just such an annoying experience. I mean, just collecting some basic resources right now is just lame. 
And escaping this biome is going to be lame too. Ugh. So I don't know who's going to be so OP to force me to play Minecraft. But this is how far I have went. Do I have anything else? There's cooked one. They're going to give me that shovel maybe? No? That's also anticlimactic. Also, I have to not stare at this Enderman thing that's going to kill me. Ah, oh, yes, it's a poppy. It's not a rose. Might mean something. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to give it to Captain Sparkles for making music. I think this might be the last item I want to give to Antoine for... Finding weird Minecraft seeds. So Sky does Minecraft does not have anything, but I don't know him very well. I stole Dreams Chicken. I can give it back. I'm pretty sure Adventurecraft is gonna find stuff later. And I don't know Log.zip very well. We're gonna solve these problems, guys. And that be over there. Something that someone has to solve that. Oh, uh, there's some weird, useless areas going on. Jesus, my eyes! What is that? Yay, yeah, I can still go back home. Crazy. You know what? Running on treetops is pretty fun. It's so hard. I got flint, sand, gravel. And uh, see you guys next time.